All right, so we're here at Winterfest 2022. This is Lisa Egan. Lisa, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what, what it is you do? Sure, thank you. I'm Lisa and I run the Chamber of Commerce in Reading. So one thing we do is to connect people with local businesses and do events for the community. We've hosted the tree lighting the last 30 years in Reading, but sadly we had to take last year off and we really missed having an event in the common. So because now restrictions are easing, we thought we would have Winterfest to bring people together in a safe outdoor way and have some fun. My name is Jen Rogers. I'm the president of the Chamber for 2022. Most of our residents or people who are familiar with the tree lightings, they really missed these events in person. They missed these family outings and we were trying to think of a way to give back and make it happen for them. And this is what our executive director, Lisa, dreamed up. And with the support of our board and support of all of our members, here we are tonight. I'm from Reading and we just love to be a part of the community. Um, and the Chamber's just been so helpful with everything. But I guess at the end of the day, we were just excited just to kind of like be out and be in the community and socialize. We love being a part of the Fall Street Fair. And that brings a lot of like people from other towns too. So it's nice to just be out and like connecting with people again, I guess you could say. I'm psyched because we have several lit ice sculptures, which will be up all weekend, even though it's still mild, like this one. Um, we have one on the common that has a hole in it, so you can take like a selfie with it, which I think is really fun. Um, I'm very excited for the fire tables because I've never had an event where you can make s'mores, and I just think it's warm and cozy, and you know, even though it was mild today, people still love a s'more. And um, we have hot cocoa for everyone to enjoy, and the beer garden. So between the s'mores, cocoa, and beer garden in Cupcake City. I think um, people have everything they want and we have North Shore 1049 broadcasting live. So we have great music, great energy. We've got some nice white lights up. So we're very excited. It's just nice to get out and see like neighbors in the middle of the winter. It's kind of a treat. <laughs> I just, like I said, it's so nice to have things back to somewhat normal again. we got a ways to go, but this is really nice. I think, yeah, I think they should do this every year. Have some more like small vendors um, from Reading. So are you guys having fun? Is it a great time? Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah? Do you think Reading should do this every year? Yeah. yeah. I love actually seeing everybody back out after COVID. Everybody was home. So it's nice to see smiling faces and the community come together. I think we needed it. I think this is the starting point of things getting back to normal. Um, if this is the new normal, it looks pretty good to me. These people are out and they're excited to be here and I hope that we can come back and do our annual tree lightings or something along these lines again. We'll be having uh, the North Reading Town Day this year. There's also another event hosted by another nonprofit called the Fall Street Fair and I think all these things are just going to come together and Reading will be stronger than ever. <laughs>